Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So we... Uh, is that easy? Yeah, I can get out of this water. Whee! I'm also curious how I... I did not dive as far as I thought. Oh, he gets a little floaty. been fully healed after that last fight against that titan. Alright, I guess he can't do much here. What is this air cutter? I already have air cutter. Is that the Pokemon Center I'm headed to? Yes, it would seem so. But actually... Might as well stop and do one of these while I'm so close. Ooh, Metal Claw. That's a move worth having. I think, um, I think my big pig has some both moves. Oh, I think I, I think that's just, um, my grass Pokemon. I like that I get league points just for initiating a battle. Oh wait, so I can re recharge that thing. Catching it. I'm just here for EXP candy, I guess. Oh, yeah, so this next one, this first thing we're coming up to is dark. Dark is weak to fairies? Yeah. So who knows a fairy attack? Okay, so Big Pig, um, Skip Bloom. Alright. So they get some EXP candies. Increases HP. Take that. Oh, I had two of those. Um, guess we'll just get that one a little closer to leveling up. Not much. 
Probably should have gave it to the Fido, but all right. Now here's a water one. Carrying a coin. Love seeing other back. Trying to find a widow Pokemon carrying a coin. That's not how that child should. That's better not be how this child talks. Yasmin, the student. And there's Teddy Ursa. Uh, just do a normal incinerate. Tink. I don't know what that is. I still don't know what that is. But it's weak to fire. Which is all I need to know about it. I'm trying so hard, but I can't find it. I just stare into the tall grass. So I wonder if that means that there's actually one around here. Or if that's just a general thing. I don't see one. Ooh, new mount. Be at eight. Oh, I missed one. That's a shame. Alright. Alright, now let's go. It's a rare bone. I wonder where I got that rare bone. Because if it was from him doing one of his fights, that's kind of sad. Oh. Man, I didn't see this guy. Yes. Uh, rock tomb, yeah, I move I want. Um, what does he think? Forget copycat. Uh, is it copycat or... Uh, uh, I want to... Remember a move. So I want him to learn... Rock Tomb. Uh, copy here. Uh, I'm gonna try. 
If I have low HP, I'm not going to be really attacking. So, there you go. Whoops. Ooh, that would have been interesting if I went to do my next fight. Went to do my next fight in Bonsai Bosley? I don't know. That other one would have came out. I getting call? Oh, it's gonna be that unknown well, Cassiopeia. So you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who is this loser? Is this... wait. This is... this is not the director, right? What? Who are you? Name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, yeah, bro? I guess maybe. Yeah, uh, shy as ever, I see. Well, he's He knows me. He knows I'm... We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. That's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done. Well, not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great. That settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Asking a lot of questions there, Clive. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. They would defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. But end of their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? Can I be the new boss? Can I be big boss? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads. Each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, oh, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the proper base. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, you have no choice to but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. Makes sense. Can't let losers be in charge. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Yagabra. They are basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. Well, that was stupid. Let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from the rolls. 
What happens next? Um, the rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. You don't think someone else will step up? It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders. The base themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long, long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Yari Bru. Feed the Pokemon inside the base. Drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, we need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. What will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history of Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you, you completely just yet. You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances the next stage. Good hunting out there. I feel like he looks like 1960s England. <laughs> just between the pompadour kind of style haircut and just the outfit and the glasses. Oh, go get him, younger bro. Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. He's so mysterious. Another cutscene. I guess that last break was, you know, if I needed to heal or something. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Segan Squad. Yep, we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Yerber kid? You know that piece of work we're getting out we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star. Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, he's honesty's not always the best policy, you know. Well that's why I didn't say I was. You know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid, what'll it be? I'll take you on. <laughs> Sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Team Star Grunt. Alright, Murkrow. There's nothing I can specifically do about that, but incineration. Maybe I should have put all my point experience. I guess it didn't matter which one of those two I put it into. They were both pretty well about the same level and not going to level up more. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? I have to battle the other one now. How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Oh, man. I just realized what they're saying. Hey, she's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. 
Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista. I thought I was a nerd. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the Segan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole Team Star. He also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. A sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plane... And it's probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts that finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. I mean, I don't think that means we should not have a strategy because he is good at having strategies. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to knock this off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the sequence squad off the map. Alright, uh, one potion, please. Alright. And we're saved, so let's go! Whoop. Item. Nothing on this side. Alright. Ring the bell. Oh, first three Pokemon. I should have read that. Huh, that's a shame. Oh, I bet I get three of Clives now. Careful now, Yerbra. Team Star's unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. Get through it. You need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon. Have them battle at the same time. Pokemon get low on health. Come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. So, I want to guess if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss will. might just honor you with an appearance. So, I have to beat 3 Pokemon a minute. Alright, when you're taking on this challenge, you can have three Pokemon out. You lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get two one out to battle or if time runs out. Uh, Alright, I, I guess... I'm hoping this is fine, but... I'm regretting not having any, um... Any... Well... Not enough. As I was gonna say, can all of you guys team up on that last one? Oh, does this just. Do I have to. Does it just do it? Alright. If I leave him with those three, the big pig should work on those ones. Oh wow, I'm a minute in. And I'm a third of the way there. Ah, oh, that works out good. Those things are weak. Oh no, I don't want to quit. No. Um. Right, four more, three more. Two more. I hope I get experience for all these. I think I should. Alright, so under two minutes. That was easy. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Oh, 
Ooh, that's cool ride. I don't know if cool is the right word. It is in fact a ride. Giacomo. fight here. You've done a real number on this party crasher. Yeah, bro, was it? I'm Giacomo, the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as up, you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. In ha. Started in here. Best sick beach you got. So, do I still just have three Pokemon? You don't really think things through, do you? Deck clearing war and Team Star is a real bad move. Oh, he has two Pokemon. Incinerate him. I didn't even look to see what level his Pawniard was at. Oh, there he is. I was like, wait, where is Pawniard? All I see is this monster of a vehicle. So now, rave room. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Don't tell me the car is the... The car is a Pokemon? No! What? I refuse to believe that this is something created by nature that just kind of... How? No. This is not a Pokemon. This is more ludicrous. More? It's either more or less ludicrous than that giant bird dropping even giant turp boulders. Ha! Huh, how's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, party crasher. Weird thing to say when I'm the one attacking. Alright. Is that like a third health? Just in case, we'll go ahead and use one potion. He's not doing much damage, but he could. Ah, shoot. Oh. My special attack keeps falling, that's why. That's why this keeps not doing much damage. Alright, then I better just switch to pig. Big pig. Or cottonweed. Big pig for the HP. Oh, it got brighter. Did it just naturally become daytime? Oh, that's right. It never misses. Wicked Torque. For 22 damage. Alright, so one more disarming voice. And... He's out of here. Oh, 
Oh, you fainted. You defeated Giacomo. Guess that's that. That is that. Guess that's that. Oh, the other ones. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? But well, we figure we gotta make them some team rules like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice. You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, huh, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they could, wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. That's very precise. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. Burned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. That's what I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. Team Star's Dark Crew defeated. Nice. Give you this choice, TM2. You earned it fair and square. Foul play. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage. Oh, that's nice. Ha, is this how the party ends? Let's talk about those Pokemon eaters. They're crazy strong. You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Uh, nope. Huh, okay, you like it at the academy? Have fun? I'm not, it's not the best. No kidding. 
Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Well, ho, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quax well to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? If it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours? Are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in I don't know. Must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the Big Boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you. Heh, is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Man, I have three badges already. It's a star. That I just made that connection. Erber, it's me. Seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the sequin squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry. Cassiopeia is the old boss. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Ooh, five grand. You can now make more kinds of TMs. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Awesome. Oh. Aw, oh, it's... I never did learn their name, but it's the... Penny! From the supply unit, I did learn your name. I just forgot about your name, Penny. Oh, her leggings are togepi, and her hair is also kind of togepi colors, which is probably a coincidence at this point. You probably don't remember me, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. And it was to taking out Team Star. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall. It's part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff. So I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Lots of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of the Team Star bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. A trainer as strong as you on our side. I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. I guess I should put a marker, but it's pretty much just go to the city. Is that normal? I guess I'll head to that. Alright. And we're about 40 minutes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. 
next time we'll be heading into this city. Um, I think the... If I remember the map, it was a water gym? Yes. So it's a water gym. But be sure to come back next time. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.